Hello, and uh, what I'm uh, and welcome to a studio. Yes. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm mucking about with uh, one of the weirder symbols I've got, which is the uh, paste, 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 uh, roto sound. And it's a, kind of an odd name for a symbol, a roto sound, uh, considering what it does is that it actually spins and rotates. They really worked hard on that one, didn't they? How about flippy disk, or or uh, I don't know, twirly, twirly clang, yeah, well whatever. And what it does, is, I don't know if I've shown you this before. <clears throat> this is this is one serious piece of equipment, and why it is so serious? Well, because it's terribly expensive, and they had it at my drum store for ages, and no one bought it. And after a while, I felt sorry for it, so I bought it. And uh, it's definitely not worth the money, so don't rush out and buy one. You can just uh, you get you could probably make your own flippy disc with a uh, with a pair of rubber bands and a shoe. And so uh, what it does there? Well, it is a um, it's a Leslie symbol. Leslie symbol. A lot of the words are getting stuck in my mouth today. So here we go. This is uh, it's going to distort probably, but if we do it like that. And then we go. And it goes on and on and on. And, and I've used it actually quite a lot live because it's such a uh, striking thing. Plus the fact that if it goes on and on, it resonates forever, which means that you don't have to play as much. And being the lazy man I am, that's always very welcome. So I'm working on this uh, this soundtracky track, and um, in the verses they they go all tribally or something. I don't know. There's a lot of toms, and it sounds like this. And you can hear a very faint ping. That's the ice bell. Well, I wanted to amplify that. And so I overdub the roto sound on the ones, and as it resonates for so long, it's got such a long sustain, I can have it going for like four or eight bars. But I did a little specialty thing as well, as as always. I uh, I couldn't help plugging in the whammy pedal, and the whammy doesn't really uh, doesn't tend to high frequencies all that well, but it, I think it did a at least let. It did an interesting job with it. Here we go. So if we get bass and drum. And then it melts. So. Um, whammy roto sounds, uh, it's all the rave, hey hey.